I'm Leslie Clark, this is my husband Brian, and we have two kids, Jackson and Charlie, and we've been coming to the Yellow Box for about five years. We started looking for a church as soon as we moved to the Chicago area. We knew we wanted to find a place that we could call home. The first week that we walked into community, we f felt immediately just relaxed and it felt like a good place where we could build relationships and really um, grow in our faith. Well, we joined a small group probably six months or so after we started coming. You know, we were new to the Chicago area. We didn't know anyone when we moved up here. And our small group has become, in a lot of ways, some of our closest friends, our safety net, um, you know, the people we go to to celebrate birthdays, and also the people we go to when we have problems or just need somebody to watch our kids. We've been able to have conversations with that group and in the small group stemming from the, the service that are, are just not like conversations we've ever been able to have anywhere else. Giving was one of the things that I kind of always wanted to be doing more, but it sounds silly to say, but I didn't quite know how. We had not really been tithing. Not even, not really, we weren't. We weren't tithing. We were giving when we found ourselves with a little extra money and we were thinking, hey, you know, we should probably give this to the church. And that was it and it never felt meaningful at all. It wasn't a stretch for us. It was just something that we did because um, we felt bad giving nothing. You know, and sometimes, you know, we. I'd get a bonus at work and we give a little bit more and we're like, yeah, aren't we good? You know, we, we gave some of that to the church, but I mean, we weren't really giving to a point where it, it made a difference and it made us think about it at all. Um, and, you know, that's kind of where All In came in. When the All In um, initiative came up, we knew that was our time. That was like God saying, okay, here it is. This is when you need to start and we both left the service the first time that it was mentioned we both left the service knowing that we needed to do something and actually independently we came up with the same number of what we thought we should give um, then they had the um, special week week night service where um, you know they asked for people to come who knew they were going to be making a commitment and they wanted advance commitments and we went and we were surrounded by all of these people who were so committed and we both sat there and we knew right then that the original amount that we had chosen was not our real amount. And we both kind of whispered to each other, you know, we need to give more. And we bumped it up and we got in the car and I looked at Leslie and I was like, I think we need to give more. And she's like, what are you talking about? Like we already went way above our number. And that's when we went home and really started looking at the numbers and I'm like, we can do this. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but you know that's what we need to um, to do. So that's when I sent Sean an email and was like, "Hey, can I commit more?" And mm. he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> it used to just always be that church is this place where that we went, and now this is like this is our church, and we feel so committed, and we want everyone else to experience the same. Um, blessings that we've had just from being here. Um, for us, it was a step out in faith and it felt silly at first. Um, and then as we've watched it all unfold, we we just think now like, oh, it's true. Like it does, it, it falls into place and it it works. You, you put your priorities where they're supposed to be. You make that commitment and then the rest of it falls into place. I kind of think about it like a almost a snowball of generosity, right? As it go rolling down a hill, like it doesn't necessarily, it's, it might be tougher at first, but a, as it gets going, it, you know, the momentum carries in. I mean, it's doing so many good things for you, for your family, for the church, you know, and then as Leslie said, at some point you're like, why would I be doing anything else? I'm Brian. And I'm Leslie. And, and we're, we're all in. in.